Hi guys, this is my Chad Scancia Fluminensis Nanook, also known as a Wandering Jew Nanook, Wandering Dude Nanook. Um, I really prefer Chad Scancia. And um, this is, I think, the previous time I vlogged this specific plant. It was much smaller. Um, she just grew like a weed. Look at her. <laughs> and look at the size of the leaves. And I'm just saying that the color is just beautiful. It's much beautiful in person. It is really beautiful in pictures and in videos, but to be honest, it is really, really like breathtaking in person. Um, I, um, this particular plant sits about, I would say, one to two feet away from a west-facing window. And it's not because she can't withstand to be right next to a west-facing window. It's more of that window is very occupied. So, unfortunately, she has to sit um, a foot or two behind, the, um, behind those plants. And um, she's thriving. It is a cathedral um window so it is pretty tall and i think that's why it doesn't really matter for her if i could i don't really mind putting her in front of a window she could definitely do a west facing window i am unsure about a south facing window since i do not have access in a south facing window from my personal experience transcancias don't really do well um usually even on a west facing window only this one. My other transconsias burn when they're in front of a west-facing window. They are all, except for this, at an east-facing window because they all burn. And um, let's see. Yeah, they do. They burn. So I think this one, um, because the leaves are definitely the thickest, out of all the transconsias, that's why she doesn't really burn um, at a west-facing window. Um, sh I, I'm even debating, like, if I, have, I ever had a south-facing window, if she could tolerate it. Unfortunately, I don't have that access, so I can't really tell you if she can, if she can do a south-facing window. If you do have a south-facing window and you want to try it out, what I would suggest is check um within that day if you put her like the night before and at 2 p.m if you can check at around 2 p.m because the hot the 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 most intense light for the south facing window is midday so between 12 to 1 so i would you know i think the safest would be like two o'clock if around two o'clock you've seen some burning I would say, hey, move her away from the window, um, so make it indirect. Um, if she still burns, if you move her one to two feet away and she still burns, she might not do well on that window, so um, just pay attention. But if within that day, no problem, I would still check the next few days because sometimes the first day might be okay and then it won't pop up until like day two day three it can happen so if that's the case i would suggest move it away from the window or actually maybe she can't tolerate the south facing window what i can tell you is that she loves a west facing window a hundred percent for sure she is being watered right now uh every 10 days and that can change um but currently every 10 days and all my watering mix is down in the description section including my social media account so if you want to connect with me there feel free to do that um the potting soil that i've used is just regular potting soil make sure you get a good brand that doesn't come with nasty um, extras like if you get soil from miracle grow or scott's miracle grow they are they don't really um I don't know what they do with their soil, but it comes with fungus gnats. Um, and their excuse to me was it it was the region, um, the store, 
because it sits there all day or how many days. And also, um, the distributor was there. They had a different, I, I, I was having, um, different conversations with different representatives and they had different excuses, excuse after excuse. Well, how come other people in the country was getting the same thing and they have, they're getting it from different areas. You know what I mean? <laughs> one common, one common thing is the brand and where it comes from. So anyway, um, I don't use that soil. Um, I use Schultz potting soil and that is still my current favorite. If you can't find that, um, I have tried black gold and black gold's really good. And there are other soils out there too. I would make sure it doesn't have fungus nests with it. Uh, miracle Grow is definitely very infamous in regards to having fungus nests with it. So if you can't find anything else about miracle Grow, I would still keep looking or order online. Um, again, everything that I use to water this particular plant will be down in the description section. In the past month, I would say she's been getting very, very indirect, indirect plant light. And that is due to my husband trying to experiment with some plants and only getting plant light in um, that room. So I'm going to twirl her a little bit so you guys can see. Look at that. She is just so beautiful. And just look at the pop of color in the back, you know? It just, it is just so beautiful. Just love it. And her leaves are definitely bigger than when I first got her. Her, like, right here is much smaller leaf than this one. And there she goes. And these were one of, like, the older leaves where they burned. And they were kind of nasty. And you could still see some of them right there. Um, this is when I first got it. And you could see these are, you know, the, the older parts of it. Now she has slowly recovered. I think the... Um, the nursery that where you know where this was from was really like clipping them a lot and propagating them a lot and clipping 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 and it's just they never really like clipped them kind of more presentable in a sense because as you can see like this was clipped and they just didn't care you know like it doesn't look very aesthetically nice um so here here's her update and I hope you've enjoyed my vlog that you're going to hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. If you want to talk about this particular plant, transconsies in general, let me know down below in the comment section. If you just want to talk about this particular plant itself, let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next time on the next updated video. Bye.